What you about? Oh, uh, okay. What you about? I'm about. <laughs> Back at the house, when I say my knee is hurting like so freaking bad, like I don't know, I think I might just have arthritis. I'm getting old, <laughs> no, but I said I was gonna make me a doctor's appointment <clears throat> probably for next week because it's getting to the point where the pain is just. I don't know, and it's like the front of my knee, the back of my knee, like I don't know what the freak it is right now. And normally I'd be like, it's the weather, but it's not cold today. <laughs> my husband's like, it's close to the season's changing. I'm like, it's getting warm, but like it's not getting cold. I don't know. But I bought this little um stimulator from Amazon. I can't wait to get home and use it. Yeah, you want to get home so you can? Yes. This is it right here. The company is Bellafu. Belief, Belief, Bellafu. I think I paid 30 something dollars for it, 20 something. I'll put it on the screen. But this is. Hold on. I'm watching, um, jeez, what is her name? I completely had a brain fart. I'm watching Tierra Walker's vlog. She just did this canvas painting that I plan to do um, for my living room or whatever. I saw Aaliyah's face do one too. This is what it looks like. It has like six settings on there. I could have sworn. I need to look at the book. I could have sworn online that it said it had like 20 something modes. Because if not, poo, um, <laughs> I need a discount, a refund, or some. You send me some extra packs. But it comes with all of these packs, and each pack has two in a pack. So, two versus eight, 10, 12, like 14 packs, sticky packs. And I think they say you can get like 15, 20 uses out of them, if not more. Um, but you can wet them to preserve them a little more. But it works. I don't turn it up too high because it makes me a little nervous or whatever. And then this one time I turned it up a little high and I don't know. I, I feel they make me nervous like it's going to electrocute me or something. I don't know. But yeah, this is what, this is what it looks like. Cords. and then this is the end it just sticks on it like that so it said not to do it more than 30 minutes so i did it for 30 minutes and i'm probably gonna wait a little while to do it again i don't know i think i can do it longer than 30 minutes but my plan for today was to take down my christmas tree but my freaking leg is hurting so my darius might do it so i'm gonna rest for a little while while he um, he went back to hang with his friends, and he wanted me to go, but I'm like, no, my leg's hurting, so I stayed home. So I'm going to finish watching this vlog, and then I might take me a little nap, <laughs> like always, and let my um, knee elevate for a little bit, and then I'll holler at y'all. Okay. Hey guys, so I'm currently at the um, TLC Orthopedic Center that we have here. I did something to my knee on Friday. I don't know what I did to it, but it hurts for me to bend it back and it hurts to walk, it hurts to sit. <laughs> um, I had planned on getting an appointment anyway because I think I have arthritis from when I had surgery back in high school, but yeah, here we are. So I'll update y'all when, um, after I talk to the doctor. Okay, all that too. Behind that sticker, cuz. You're gonna get him, cuz. I swear. <laughs> Told you. Come on. Keep on. I swear. Again, cuz. 
Okay. What you about? I'm about. Let's <laughs> go, go, babe. Okay. All right. The pro is coming. The queen is coming. Got him. Boom. I guess you think I'm lying or something. No, she got you this time. <laughs> Look, Cam. Told you. <laughs> Get him, Cam. Okay. What's up, YouTube? It's you, and it's you. My friend, what's up, guys? So today is Thursday. Um, hold on, let me pause this. I'm watching Aaliyah J's. Um, girl, check your me. I hate my apartment. Blah blah blah. Her and Lee just got that together. If you don't know who they are, then you're not gonna know <laughs> um, what I'm talking about or the story. But <clears throat> yeah, I'm about to get my lazy ass up and do something and be productive. Um, I just got done doing my um, daily tarot reading. I use the Magic Seer cards. Um, I'll set my tripod down. So these are the tarot cards that I got from Amazon for Magic Seer. I don't know if I already showed you guys or not. Actually, I probably need to sit this way because of the light. Yeah, so that's better. Let me show y'all what it looks like. So this is the box that it comes in. This is the back. This is the front. And it's based off the regular um, uh, Rider White. I think that's how you say it. It's not, don't quote me, I'm sorry. Um, this is new to me. I believe I paid like 20 bucks, 15 to $20 for this deck. Tarot decks aren't cheap. Um, but this is what it looks like. Um, a tarot deck has 78 cards. If you don't know what tarot is, it's basically um, a spiritual guide, like divination with cards. If you don't believe in it, just get past this. I'll try to put like a timestamp in here. Um, but there are 78 cards. You have your major arcana and your minor arcana. Um, you have 22 major cards, which is like um, major things that happen in your life. And each one has pictures on them. Oh, I think I have them upside down. Each one has pictures on them like this. Um, I'm sure you guys know what tarot is. So yeah, I got drawn to tarot. I mean, I've been interested in it for a while. 
Um, but last year I just got more drawn to it or something. And then this year I just said, forget it. <laughs> I'm going to get me some cards. Um, I wanted to have me a reading done. And it's a lady that um, people in my family go to. And I want to start going to her. <clears throat> At least before she croaks out. I know that's bad to say, but she's, she's old. And she don't live here. Um, I had my first reading done. I don't know. I think it was this month. It was like two, two, three weeks ago by this girl named Create Fate. She has a Facebook. I'll link it um, in the description box and I'll put it on the screen. Her name is Create Fate and she also has a group pageant. No, something Pixies. I'm gonna put it on the screen. But yeah, she does live reading. She also does like FaceTime and in person, but she lives in Dallas. So I just did one of her Facebook live readings and it was a minimum donation of $10. And it was pretty, pretty good, you know, for my first reading. But I've been doing, um, pulling cards once a day, at least once a day. Um, so I can try to learn the card meanings and just to get in the habit, you know, of pulling cards. So I checked that off my list for today. Monday, I said that, was it Monday? Yeah. Monday, I told y'all that I was going, um, to the doctor for my knee. It turned out that I had a lateral collateral um, ligament sprain, which is a LCL sprain. I thought it was my MCL, which is your meniscus, because I tore it in 2007 when I tore my ACL. Um, but I didn't do anything. They kept asking me like, can you think of what you did? I'm like, no. At work, we have like a mini fridge that sits under a counter. I kneel down to go in it but it did not hurt me i didn't feel anything i didn't feel a pop nothing and then the next day saturday i could barely walk and sunday um i did buy <clears throat> i did buy this massager i think i sh i might have showed this clip already but anyway so i've been using this on my knee i need to ice it as well um, but I had put on the paper when I went that I had arthritis. The doctor came in there. Her name was Stacy. She was real nice. She was like, girl, you're too young for some arthritis. And for some, that's that's black people talk. You're too young to have arthritis, is what she said. <laughs> and then she looked at the x-ray on the screen. I'll post it again. And she was like, well, you do have a little bit in the front. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I know, because it's hurting. I had surgery back in 07, so I don't think she looked at my chart. Because I went to the TLC back in um, 07 with Dr. Greco, and that's who they scheduled me for my follow-up again, too. Which they said if I stop hurting, I can cancel it. Um, they gave me a brace, you know, and basically told me to take anti-inflammatories. I'm like, lady, I'm in pain. I can barely walk. <laughs> And you not gonna prescribe me nothing? Like, and you see the arthritis? Like, so <clears throat> I got me some 800 milligram ibuprofen from my mom. And like the first day I took them, they worked, but I took one yesterday and it didn't do nothing. Like, it, it was hard for me to sleep last night. I tossed and turned um, all night or whatever. So I'm gonna try to ice it today and probably stretch. I also started working out again this week. I haven't worked out in like two weeks, two, three weeks since I finished my um, fitness thing with Ashley. Um, but yeah, I started by working out this week. I worked out Monday, Tuesday. I did not work out yesterday because my partner did not want to work out. She said she was sore. She was getting in burpees y'all because I told her we was doing burpees yesterday. I don't know how I was going to do some burpees with my knee, but I was just going to wing it and try because I had been doing arms because my knee, I didn't want to stress it anymore. But we will work out today. If she don't come today, I'm still going to work out by myself because I want to instill more habits into my life. So, yeah, I'm about to make this day a productive day. My plan today is to clean my makeup brushes and do laundry and 
I need to do something to my hair. So yeah, I'll holler at y'all later. to cleanse your space at least once a week so what i went through i opened up my windows and i opened up some doors and i went through um with my sage and now i'm about to go through with my palo santo to replace that negative energy with positive energy so i'm gonna have some rose bundles on it um i'm not exactly sure what this is but yeah and this is just white sage This is gonna replace all the um, negative energy with positive energy. Palo Santo is Hollywood. So with all that saging that we just did, I'm gonna walk around the house with this and instill positivity back into my home. Again, we'll try to do this once a week. And we have a lot of companies, so technically I probably could do it twice a week, but we'll just do it once a week. the smell dies down before my husband gets off because this smush stick smells a little musty. <laughs> Keep in mind, what is this smell? <laughs> what? Alright, now I kind of feel like a YouTuber because I just sat here and filmed for like 10-15 minutes and I won't record now. <sighs> So let's do this again. <laughs> so the stuff I got from Walmart, um, I know this is not everything because I got this like a week ago, over a week ago. So I've used some of it. Um, but first I got was, first thing I got was these pop sockets. I got one for Aiden and I got one for me. They were on sale for like $2. So that's why I got it. Um, he already went in my room trying to claim this one, asking could he have it. I'm like, what you doing in my room? <laughs> but yeah, I'm not going to give him his until I get him a new phone case. I just had to replace his phone because he broke it. And I was pissed about it. I was more pissed at myself. Um, I bought him the iPhone 2020. It was only, <laughs> it was only... Um, compared to other iPhones. It was only $400. So that's why I gave it to him. And then I really didn't want to give him a phone. It's just all the other kids, you know, these days they're playing Fortnite and Roblox. He plays Roblox. He don't play Fortnite that often. And they talk. And I'm like, well, all the other kids, I didn't want him to be behind or I didn't want to be left out or behind with technology. So I went ahead and got him, got him a phone. Um, we do monitor it. I go through his text messages. I've already had to call some parents because let me tell y'all, it's not the little boys that you need to watch. It's the girls that you need to watch because, huh, they fast in their ass, honey. They fast. Like, the stuff that I saw in my nine-year-old son's phone is stuff that nine-year-old girls shouldn't even, should not be asking. And it was them asking him. He didn't even know what they were talking about. <laughs> so that just lets you know what they were talking about in those text messages. And so with one of them, I called, um, I got in touch with their teacher so I can get their mom's number. And I <laughs> sent her all the screenshots or whatever. But the little girl is something else. She, she still be on it. Like they be cussing and I ain't with it. I'm not with it. Like. I'm not with it. We weren't really cussing in front of Aiden. Hell, we just started getting to the point where 
I'm not gonna say just started, maybe a couple years, but we started listening to music with Cursing in it. And that's only because he would come home singing songs. And I'm like, where did you learn this NBA young boy? And it would be his aunt, but she's young too. So I'm like, I can't control what happens when he's not with me all the time. So I just have to teach them what's good and what's not, what, what they need to say and what not to say. So yeah, I encourage you parents, <laughs> if you have young children, um, I just, if you have underage children, if you have children under the age of 18, now I'm not saying, you know, 16, 17, you need to boil your phone, let me see your text messages, but you need to know what they doing. Because I mean, I wasn't bad when I was little, but I still did some stuff I wasn't supposed to do. So, yeah, I encourage y'all to monitor your children's phone, especially your young kids, because if you can remember back when we was little, it was AOL, it was chat, it was all that stuff. And, you know, the sex trafficking, it was high back then. So, but it's just in the open now. So, it's, yeah. One to your children. All right. So, the next thing I got, I have to make sure I'm still recording, because, boo, I wasn't going to do this a third time. All right. I got this high pro pack. Hmm, I wonder if it's always called high pro pack or it is whatever. Got this high pro pack Moroccan men argan oil deep repair hair mask. It treats dry, brittle hair, replenishes moisture, revives tired, lifeless strands. And yeah, right now my hair is pretty dull and lifeless. So I needed that. I also got just some regular scrunchies because, yeah, I got this for when I wear my wigs because I didn't want to have just a, a tight barrette on it. And then I got these. You can never have too many of these. I've already lost like two and stretched out one, but yeah, it comes with a bunch. So I got that. Also, I got this Shea Moisture. Moringa and avocado with kale, matcha and green algae, power greens reconstructor. So it's basically um, a deep conditioner. Because you're supposed to apply it after shampoo. So shampoo the hair, rinse well, towel dry, apply a generous amount from roots to ends and comb through to distribute evenly, leaving the hair for 10 to 15 minutes. So yeah, it's like a deep conditioner. And I've been lazy with my hair. I've said that, but yeah, I need to I need to get on it. At least stay on a regular wash schedule and keep my ends trimmed and like braid it down or something. Because I'm normally used to just wearing my puff every day. And that's not good either. If you're wearing, you know, the same ponytail in the same spot every day, it causes your hair to break off. My hair has broken off. Mm. It doesn't stink. Um, it's kind of a pleasant smell. It doesn't really have an overpowering scent, which is good because some people doesn't like that. Some people doesn't like. Some people don't like heavy scents. I know some people do like the heavy scents, but this is just like a normal, normal hair product. And the consistency, I don't know if you can see it. It's not thick. It's a little runny. So if I tip it over, it's going to run out. Um, but just the consistency of it, yeah, feels like it's going to have a lot of slip to it, so that'll be good, I need the slip, yeah, I do need the slip, I have 4C hair, meaning it's like real tight, coily, you know, Negro hair, <laughs> um, but it does curl up in its natural state, because I am natural, I used to get perms when I was little, I went natural in like 2008. I was in like 10th grade, so. Yeah, so that's pretty much all I got. I did get, dang it, I don't feel like going back upstairs. Hold on. All right. I did get me and Mardarius um, some face masks. Ooh, hold on. Going up and down them steps, y'all. I need to get the stamina up. 
All right. <clears throat> so I got me and hubby some face mask to do. Um, this is from ooh, Sue. Sue, Sue, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, New York company, hemp dream sheet mask, 100% natural hemp seed oil, softening and hydrating. It's made with eucalyptus, hemp seed oil, and has a soft texture to it. Um, I've done sheet masks before. They're okay. I would prefer to do like a a regular face mask, like a, a clay or charcoal or something like that, because <clears throat> I'm just weird when it comes to like feeling... <laughs> I don't want this to sound crazy, but when it comes to feeling wet stuff, I don't like my hands to feel wet. And then like having to touch this mask and put it on my face, it's just, it kind of grosses me out. I don't know if it's a word for that. It might be, a, might be a word for that. It's a word for everything these days. But yeah, I mean, I can do a sheet mask. I can do it, I guess. So yeah, I got two of these, one for him, one for me, and I want to start incorporating like self-care Saturdays or self-care Sundays or one of these days is going to be a self-care day dedicated for us to do things. So I figured we could start with this and I did get him some, um, well, he has a lot of beer stuff that he doesn't use or he's used it. So I just said, I'm going to take the responsibility of keeping up his beard. You know, that's what a wife does. <laughs> um, also... Also, I've used probably five of them already, but don't get me wrong. I like Bath and Body Works. Um, I prefer, I mean, their candles are, they smell pretty good too, but I'm like, who gon, they expensive. <laughs> um, but I do like their wallflowers and I waited, I normally wait till they go on sale for $2 before I get some, but Walmart has some, so I'm like, well, let me see what Walmart's talking about. Because if Walmart is just as good, then I'll just get Walmart. And sorry, getting okay, everything. I'll just get Walmart and not worry about Bath and Body Works. So since I only, I, I got like 10, 11 of them. Like I said, I've already used like five. And I did buy um, the little wall socket things. So. These are what they look like, you know, if you, you should know what wallflowers look like. If your house smells good, if you use them. Um, this is called White Tahitian Woods. Does it have notes on this? Sorry, y'all got interrupted again. This time by Hubby because he sent me a text, but I was recording and, and you know, he jealous y'all. Y'all make him jealous. <laughs> But yeah, that's all Sam. I got um, Tahitian Woods. I got like two of each kind. And I've already burnt one of these. I wish they had the notes on it. Tahitian Woods is fruity. I'm not going to go too deep into it because <laughs> I ain't good at describing stuff. But that's a fruity scent. Next, I got peach mango. It's not, mm, that smells good. I was gonna say it's not as fruity as the Tahitian, but it is, it's fruity, it should be peach mango. This one is called Smoky Gray Mist. It's just another clear one. And I wanted to get some that smelled like a male too, like cologne. Mm. Girl. <laughs> oh my God. Smoky gray mist. You need to get this one. It smells just like men's cologne, y'all. Like, I know a lot of y'all be wanting that um, mahogany teak wood and um, I ain't what's that other one called? It's another one from Bath and Body Works that um, smells like cologne, smells like a man. And, but girl, Walmart, $2. So I only, <laughs> I said I only bought a few. I bought like 10, but that's because they were $2. I was going to buy more 
And then I thought to myself, I'm like, Krisha, what if you don't like them? Then you'd be pissed because you <laughs> bought all these wallflowers. And yeah, but they work pretty good. I mean, they work just as good as um, the Bath and Body Works, I believe. So I'm about to get up, probably put on some Betty Wright because <laughs> that's my girl, even though, you know, RIP Betty Wright. Yeah, so I'm gonna get up, put on some Betty Wright, and clean up because my house is filthy. I'm um, at least why I got the energy because I'm off today, but. I gotta be back at work in the morning. Like this flip flopping is, whoo, entrepreneurship me, please. <laughs> See y'all later. Love and happiness. Y'all, what's wrong with me? Finally, she took off her nightcap. I just spent. Hold on, let me put on Tay. Just spent a hundred, over a hundred dollars at Amazon. <laughs> like, why do we feel like we constantly need shit from Amazon? It's cause we do. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's not like I went on there and bought stuff that I didn't need. I mean, some of it was some wants. Like <laughs> I did buy this yoga set, but I'm going to put that in the need category because I bought the set that has the wheel on it. It has the two blocks. It comes with a mat, which I have a mat, but whatever. Get the whole shebang. Um, but, like, my body is so stiff. Like, I'm 29, and I feel like, I don't know. I need to move. I need to move. That's why when you see a bunch of old people working and retiring at, like, in their 80s or dying at work is because they don't want to sit still because once you stop it's over with <laughs> so yeah um that's a neat um i drank my kombucha today so i have determined i think the last flavor i had was pink lemonade so i've determined that the peach right now is my favorite um, it doesn't really taste like peach. I mean, it's kombucha. It kind of tastes like beer. I already said that. But as far as the flavor, this this tastes a little better than the pink lemonade. But yeah, I got um, that. I got some like cards. I wait. <laughs> I wait till it comes in, and um, then I'll show y'all. My Wayfair stuff came in. I think I said that already. But I'm waiting until. My next check, I'm trying to work on this budget stuff. Um, I can go ahead and buy it now, but uh, like I said, I need to try to work. You know, I probably could have bought that instead of buying this Amazon stuff. Ugh. But yeah, I'm waiting until I buy another, not another, I'm waiting until I buy a carpet um, before we put up the coffee table and the end table. It'll be another probably month or a week, two weeks before, um, I'll show y'all my coffee table and stuff. I need to open it. I might post a picture on the screen just to give y'all a preview of what it's going to look like. Um, but I need to open it to make sure that nothing's missing and that it's not broken because it's a glass table. Because <clears throat> that would be bad to wait, you know, two months before you open your box and then determine that the shit is broken. <laughs> but all right. <laughs> Okay guys, so because I suck, I did not film an outro to my vlog. So this is the end of my vlog. I do plan to post another one this week. Um, so you might see this outfit because I did film some stuff today in this. It's from Fashion Nova. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. And I will see y'all in my next video.